In this video, we will see how to solve examples on steam turbine graphically. So the problem statement is given over here. In an impulse turbine, steam issues from the nozzle with a velocity of 1200 meter per second. So absolute velocity of the steam at inlet that is V1 is 1200 meter per second. The nozzle angle is 20 degree that is alpha 1 is 20 degree. Blade velocity is 400 meter per second that is U is given as 400 meter per second. And it is given that inlet and outlet angles of the blades are equal. So beta 1 is equal to beta 2. Mass flow rate of the steam is 1120 kg per hour divided by 3600 so that it will get converted to kg per second. And it is given that the blade velocity coefficient is 0 0.8 that is relative velocity at outlet is k times relative velocity at inlet that is 0.8 times velocity relative velocity at inlet. Now we'll take the velocity scale as 1 centimeter is equal to 100 meter per second. So if 1 centimeter is equal to 100 meter per second, then 1200 meter per second will be equal to how much? So divide this 1200, V1 is given as 1200 meter per second divided by the scale. Whatever the scale that you choose over here, you have to divide it by that particular scale. Suppose you take scale is equal to 1 centimeter is equal to 200, then you have to divide by 200. So in this case, 1 centimeter is equal to 100 meter per second. So 1200 divided by 100. So we are going to represent on our diagram, velocity diagram, V1 by 12 centimeter. Similarly, blade speed is 400 divided by 100, that is 4 centimeter. So let us start with the construction part of this. So first we will represent blade velocity U. So first draw a rough line over here. Of any dimension then we'll draw 4 centimeter representing the blade speed now nozzle angle is given as 20 degree so we'll mark 20 degree you can see here there is a 20 degree so v1 is 12 centimeter at alpha 1 is equal to 20 degree so draw a line of 12 centimeter at an angle of alpha 1 that is 20 degree now join the this particular point over here representing relative velocity now draw a vertical line from this so that you will complete the inlet triangle now the important point is that vr2 is 0 0.8 times vr1 now you can read this particular scale vr1 is nearly 8.3 multiply it by 0.8 so it will be around 6.5 so take 6.5 and draw an arc of 6.5 from this representing vr2 so this is the arc of vr2 that is equal to 0.8 times vr1 that is 0.8 times this particular length of 8.3 centimeter now it is given that beta 1 and beta 2 are same. So beta 1 we have measured as 30 degree over here. So this is also 30 degree. Now join this point with this point and again draw a vertical from this. So that will complete your velocity diagram. So So first we have drawn AB that is of 4 cm then AC at an angle of alpha 1 that is 20 degree and that angle is 20 degree that length is 12 cm AC is 12 cm and at an angle of alpha 1 that is 20 degree join C with B measure this angle this angle is 30 degree so beta 2 and beta 1 both are same so beta 2 is also 30 degree then draw a vertical line from this so it is cd now measure this bc total distance is around 8.3 take 0.8 time distance of this so this from b up to this the distance is 0.8 times that is 6.5 centimeter and draw an arc like this which we have already drawn then from b at an angle of 30 degree draw this line be so and from e draw a vertical line of f 
and then join E with A. So you can say that this A, D, C is our inlet triangle and B, E, F is our outlet triangle. Now we have to measure the various velocity components. So first we'll calculate VW1. That is nothing but length AD multiplied by scale. Length AD, as you can see, it is 11 centimeter into scale, that is 100. So it is 1100 meter per second. Then we'll calculate VW2. VW2 is FA length. So major length FA, it is around 1.6 centimeter. So 1.6 into 100. Then we'll calculate relative velocity at inlet, that is BC. So major length BC, it is around 8.3 into scale is 100. So it is 830 meter per second. Multiply it by 0.8, so that you will get VR2, that is 656 meter per second. Divide it by 100, so it is 6.5. So take a distance of 6.5 and then draw this particular arc. VF1 is length DC, so it is around 4.2 centimeter multiply by 100 then vf2 is this particular length fe that is 3.2 centimeter multiply by 100 so v2 is ae so ae is around 3.5 centimeter as you can see measure it from this diagram into 100 so it is 350 meter per second now we have calculated the various velocity components. Now we'll start with the calculation part. So tangential force is mass flow rate into VW1 plus V2. Mass flow rate is 0 0.3111. VW1 is 1100, VW2 is 160. So tangential force is 391.986 Newton. Then blade efficiency or diagram efficiency is 2U into VW1 plus VW2 divided by V1 square. This already we have seen multiplied by 100. So U is 400. VW1 is 1100. VW2 is 160. And V1 is 1200. That is the absolute velocity of inlet. So blade efficiency is around 70%. Then power is M dot v force into velocity. That is M dot into VW1 plus VW2. This is nothing but our force multiplied by velocity. Blade velocity is 400. Rest of the parts rest of the values we already know correct so power is 156.7944 into 10 raised to 3 watt then vr1 is 830 meter per second and beta1 is equal to beta2 that is 30 degree so in this way we can solve examples on steam turbine graphically thank you very much for watching